I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hell of a hux. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but P-51 
People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <sighs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? No antibiotics, no suture trap. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters take Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. must keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Maybe something up there could help us. <sighs> I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they find some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit or I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for Artyom... Enough! Artyom this, Artyom that. Like a broken record. Had the guys not made it this time, you'd be a widow now. Stop it! No, you stop it. So, there's a common proposal plan waiting for you to enforce. A far cry from this. What do you mean, we pretend? I don't think anyone Exactly does. that. And right. it's time you stop thinking only about yourself. Yes. You know how short we are on veteran fighters. With your experience, you two must teach the recruits. You could save a lot of lives that way. I'm so tired of explaining this to you. Dad, I won't come back without Artyom, and he... Anna, this is madness! Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider even for one second that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life, to raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more with all of you. I must say that even if he did hear some. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You give us a sneak, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Party you, all me, right. Give way. This calls for a celebration. Party. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, you are the nurse's son now, guys. Huh? Could you just stop crowding him? 
counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom, because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. if he learns we've been to a haunt off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that?
draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae? Or do we let them pass? It's on! I'll cover you! Zone is off limits. I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Give me a boost. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. what's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Watchmen broke through. Oh, workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained. Trained. If anything comes through, shoot. Should send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on! Get off of your whining, you old fuck! <laughs> <laughs> 
straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Just stay out of the light, please. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me over me. Come on, come on. Wait! You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? By the way, what happened to Wasn't that mumbling? It's oh, not I'm just talking to myself. Everyone got Ah, your Mac. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah.
you're hurt. Hunter's badge? And stop the bullet. Take this bitch! Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to it. I'll get you out of here. So I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above.
Now we have to find your mech. 